you are welcome. How to solve for x in this nice algebra equation? Here, when we have b, we can write this as a times b over a. Why? Because when a has a equal a, we are still having b. Then, from what we have here, we can write this x minus 1 root 2 minus 1, rather, we can write this as root 2 plus 1 times root 2 minus 1 okay, over root 2 plus 1. Like this here, when this cancel out, we are still left with root 2 minus 1, which implies here, this follows what we have up here, follows from when we have a plus b multiplied by a minus b and which gives us a square minus b square. At this we have half a square from there and here, this here we can write it now as root 2 square minus 1 square then over what we have there which is root 2 plus 1 in the denominator and from what we have here the square we cancel the square root here which gives us 2 then minus here 1 square is 1 then over root 2 plus 1 and 2 minus 1 there is 1 so therefore what we have here, which is root 2 minus 1, is not same thing as 1 over root 2 plus 1. So we can write that as, we can write root 2 minus 1 as 1 over root 2 plus 1. Then from what is given now in the question here, we can write this now as, 1 over root 2 plus 1. That implies that we have the equation becoming into bracket root 2 plus 1 all raised to power x now plus 1 over into bracket root 2 plus 1. Since we have all raised to power x, 1 raised to power x is still 1. So here will be raised to the power of x, which is equal to 6 here. Then from what we have here, we have root 2 plus 1 raised to the power of x common. So let the letter represent that. Let u be equal to root 2 plus 1 or raised to the power of x. At this from here, this becomes u plus 1 over u now equals to 6 from here then let's clear this fraction and multiply through by u from what we have here then this becomes u times u which is u square then plus here u cancel out we have plus 1 equals to 6 times u we have 6 u then from here bring everything to one side form the contracting equation and this becomes u square minus 6 u now then plus 1 here equals to 0 from here then solve this quadratic equation using the prior formula u equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a and here we have a to the 1, b to the minus 1, and c to the equals to 1. Then here this gives us u now equals to minus. Minus 6 for b, so we have minus. Minus 6, then plus or minus square root of. Here we have minus 6 square, then minus 4 times 1 times 1, then all over 2 times 1. Which implies that from here we have u now equals to 6 plus or minus root minus c squared that's 36 then minus here we have 4 
over 2. Which implies that from here we have u equals to 6 plus or minus square root of here give us 32 over 2. And here with 32 we can separate it and this becomes root 16 times 2 which we can write and separate it as root 16 times root 2 and root 16 is 4 times root 2. So which implies that here the 32 is 4 root 2 so here we have u now equals to 6 plus or minus 4 root 2 from here over 2. And since 2 is common cup here, we can factor it out and we have u now equals to 2 in the bracket. 3 plus or minus 2 root 2 from here. Then over 2. Here 2 we cancel each other. Then we have u now equals to 3 plus or minus 2 root 2. Then from here, recall that we represented u as into brackets root 2 plus 1 raised to power x. Then, here, yeah, which means that root 2 plus 1 all raised to power x will now be equal to 3 plus or minus 2 root 2 on this side. Then, the identity when we have a square plus b square plus or minus 2ab here the same thing as a plus or minus b all square then let's write what we have here in that format on the right hand side and it implies here that we have 3 let's write 3 as 3 plus 1 then plus or minus 2 root 2 and here we can multiply this one by root 1 and root 1 is 1 when 1 multiply 2 root 2 gives you 2 root 2 so which implies that here we can write 2 as root 2 square here square will cancel square root we are left with 2 then plus also 1 can be written as root 1 square then plus or minus 2 root 2 then times root 1 then from what we have here when we compare this with what we have it implies that here a is having as root 2 while b here is having as root 1 so which implies that what we have on the right hand side now there we can write it as root 2 plus or minus root 1 all square and there therefore what you have on the left which is root 2 plus 1 raised to power x here will now be equals to what you have on the right here we can rewrite it and this will be root 2 plus or minus root 1 is 1 then all raised to power 2 now we can separate this now into 2 that is here first we have root 2 plus 1 all raised to power x equals to root 2 plus 1 squared also we have the second aspect we have root 2 plus 1 all raised to power x now equals to root 2 minus 1 all square then from what we have here we have same base as root 2 plus 1 root 2 plus 1 then we compare the power here x equals to 2 on this side then on the other side here what we have on the right we should recall that we have root 2 minus 1 same thing as 1 over root 2 plus 1 so which implies that root 2 minus 1 squared will now be equal to 1 over root 2 
plus one squared. Then we should recall that when we have one over a raised to power n from the law of indices, this is a raised to power minus n. Then what we have here now on the right can be written as root two plus one raised to power minus two from here. So here we have root two plus one raised to power x now equals to this. So now when we compare this, what should we have to do in this? We compare the power, then on this side x equals to minus two. So therefore, in this solution we have x equals to two and x equals to minus two. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Then subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on. Share this video to your friends. See you next class. And that's for now.